How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up your first iPhone step by step. And the first thing you have to do is actually press on your side button right here, press on this button on your right until you see the Apple logo. Then let's wait a few seconds. And so you're gonna see the famous hello screen. So you're ready to go, ready to set up your first iPhone. So as you can see, all you have to do is swipe up and then you're gonna select your favorite language. So let's go for English. Right here, we're gonna go for country or region. Let's go for Brazil. I'm currently in Brazil. Right here, you're gonna see appearance. This is how text will look like on your iPhone. And of course, you can test it out. You have default, you have medium, which is gonna be larger as you can see, and you have large. So depending on how you prefer to look at text, overall text and icon, you can take a look right here. Of course, later on, you can change this as well. I'm gonna go for default. Let's go ahead and continue. And right here, you have the possibility to quickly set up your iPhone with another Apple device. So with an iPad or another iPhone. But of course, you wanna do this only if you have another Apple device, okay? You don't do it with somebody else's Apple device, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna go manual step by step and I'm gonna set up without another device because this video is for people who just got their first iPhone, okay? So set up with another device. Right here, you're gonna choose your Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. You can also go through with the process using your 5G, so your cellular data. It's up to you, but of course, it's gonna use your cellular plan. So I do recommend that you connect to a Wi-Fi network, okay? But if you don't want to, or if you don't have a Wi-Fi network around you, you can scroll down and continue without Wi-Fi, even though I don't recommend. So let's go ahead and select my Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna type in my Wi-Fi password. Then I'm gonna press here on the check at the top right-hand corner to continue, let it connect. Then it's gonna start spinning the wheel, as you can see, and then it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. You don't have to do anything, just wait. Now we have data in privacy. You can go ahead and continue on that page. And then right here is gonna ask your age range. So if you are an adult, you can go ahead and tap on adult. If you are a teen or a child, I do recommend that you ask for your parents' assistant. All right, let's go ahead and adult in this case. Now it's asking us to use Face ID, to register Face ID, which is this system right here, your biometrics that will allow you to unlock your iPhone every single time, every single day, so you don't have to type in a manual password. Okay, so let's continue with that. And then what I wanted to do is go ahead and tap on get started and then position, as you can see right here, go ahead and position your face looking at your iPhone. And my recommendation here is that you go ahead and make a circle. So you're gonna look up, as you can see, and then keep moving your head uh, down, right, up, left, as you can see. So then the idea here is that your phone will stay put, as you just saw, will stay fixed. You don't move your phone, your phone will stay just like that, fixed in place, and then your head will actually move as you just saw, making a full circle, okay? Right here you have use Face ID with a mask, I don't wanna do this because I don't wear masks anymore, but if you want to, you can go ahead with this very first option. So don't use Face ID with a mask for me. And then as you can see, Face ID is now set up. So then you'll be able to unlock your iPhone just with your face, all right? Let's go ahead and continue. Right here, you have to create an iPhone passcode. So even though we have just registered our face here with Face ID, sometimes your iPhone will require a manual passcode. So go ahead and type it in. I'm gonna go with this one, as you can see, but of course, I don't recommend that you use such an easy, easily guessed passcode. Your iPhone will tell you that as well, okay? So go ahead and choose a different pattern. I'm just using like one, two, three, four, five, six for this video to make it easier, okay? So I'm gonna go with used anyway, but of course I do recommend that you pick a random one, a passcode that you can remember, but it's not so easy, okay? Now it's gonna ask me to re-enter. I'm gonna go with it once again. 
Again, don't use one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, use something else, something different and more difficult. And then right here, you have the screen where you can transfer your apps and data. So this is very important because this is where you can actually select a backup. Now, since we're doing this, the purpose of this video is that this is your first iPhone. I don't think you will have a backup, a previous backup from a previous iPhone. But if you do, for some reason, you can go ahead here and choose an iCloud backup. So then you can recover all of the information that you have previously saved on another device, on another Apple device. OK, now you have the possibility to transfer your data from another iPhone, as you can see. And then you have the possibility to transfer from a Mac or a PC and even from an Android. So there are a lot of ways where you can actually recover, where you can get back your information from another device. So as I said, from iCloud, from another iPhone, from a computer, Mac or PC, and even from Android. So if you're coming from Android, which is very likely actually, I do have another video teaching you exactly this, how to transfer your data from an Android to an iPhone. So this other video will be focused on this, on data transfer, okay? So I'm gonna leave a card right here, link in the description. I teach you how you can transfer everything from your Android phone to this new iPhone. Of course, this is not the focus of this video, so that's why I have it in the description right here. So for this video, I'm gonna go super blank, okay? As if you don't have anything else and you wanna blank clear start your iPhone. So let's go for don't transfer anything. But as I said, you can if you want to. Now you have your Apple account, and this is very important as well. Think of your Apple account as your account with Apple. So everything that you have on your iPhone from now on, all your data, all your files, all your apps, your photos, absolutely everything will be linked to this single account, your Apple account. If this is your first time with an Apple device, it's very likely that you don't have an Apple account at all. So you can go ahead and create a new one. But if you do have it, if you have had previously an iPad or another device, you can go ahead and sign in with the Apple account you already have, okay? Just make sure that you use your Apple account. Don't go ahead and choose here the Apple account of your wife, husband, mother, father, or anything like that. No, no, no. Your Apple account is unique to you. So if you don't have your Apple account, create a new one. If you do have an Apple account that's actually yours, then you can go ahead and type in your email and go ahead and sign in with your password, all right? I can't stress this enough. This is so, so important. Your Apple account is unique to you. So if you don't have an Apple account, just tap on this bottom option, forgot password or don't have an Apple account. So tap on it. And then right here, you can easily go ahead and create a free Apple account, as you can see. So it's gonna load, and then you're gonna go through with the steps, first name, last name, date of birth, continue, and so on. And then you'll be able to create your Apple account. Okay, since I do have it, I'm gonna go ahead and type it in. I'm gonna go ahead and use my own Apple account, because of course I do have one. So I'm gonna type it in right now. So as you can see, I've typed in my email and my password since I already had an Apple account. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Since I have two-step verification, it's gonna ask me that. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in that code too. And then after you sign in, all you have to do here is agree with terms and conditions let it do its thing, let it think. And as you can see, it's signing in to your Apple account, either an old one that you already had or a new one that you may have just created like I showed you. Now, just wait for it to sign in and then you're gonna see this page, make this your new iPhone. You can go ahead and continue as you can see. Now you're gonna see emergency SOS, which is a very important feature as you can see where you can press and hold for emergencies and you have crash detection as well and even in selected countries emergency SOS for via satellite. All right, let's go ahead and continue. This is just information. And as you can see right here, we're good to go. We are ready to get started. You can swipe up and we're good to go. As you can see, we've got our iPhone ready to use. You can already start using your iPhone. You may start getting SMS messages and pop-ups on the screen and a lot of information since this is gonna be the first time you actually set up and start using your iPhone. And from now on, all you have to do really is open up the App Store, start downloading 
downloading your apps, start using your iPhone as you would, but as you can see, your iPhone is fully functional, working past the very first setup, and you're good to go. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.